All right, so talking about stand still, what I see a lot of players actually doing is just freezing still, standing absolutely still in some kind of position that doesn't really exist in the swing because everything needs to be moved in by dynamic motion and not trying to maintain some kind of static position. So I see this a lot with players where they're just standing still and then they try and go in the backswing and just turn and this foot will spin out, which spins the hip out. And then you get loss of pressure and you can't transfer energy forward very well. So there's also no levitation in the backswing when you do this usually. It's just uh, almost like a punch down. So what I want to see players do more is let the arm hang. When you're standing still, you should be rocking back and forth inside your feet. You don't want to go outside your balance, which a lot of players do in their next step and even stand still. So it should be a little rocking. Let the arm swing. The rocking should pull the arm. So your center gravity is pulling the arm and then when you stop moving this direction, the swing keeps going that way. And then it's gonna wag as you're transitioning back. So this is how you should start the back swing. Your forward address, heel plant. So you're shifting and then bracing. And as you're bracing, the swing is gonna come back behind and you're going to start going targetward, and then this repeats on the back side. There's going to be the coming down, levitation up, let the arm wag, and, uh, and then you fall into transition. So you don't want to be trying to spin really fast. You want to fall more, use gravity more to accelerate your, uh, your motion. It's not, it's not really lateral or spin, it's a combination and gravity is actually going to cause rotation. When you're on one leg, you're going to start spinning either way because when you're on two legs, that's when you can't or you're counter twerking between your feet against gravity's pull. And so as you levitate and your heel comes up in the top of the backswing, your heel's gonna plant, you're gonna squat a little, and then you get a little compression on the ground. So it's like a the, the lunar bounce, boom, centripetal pump. So in the backswing, you never want your foot to spin backward. You want to put pressure into the ground, into your foot, so that it doesn't spin. And then you can levitate up off the front leg and a little bit up off the rear leg and coming back down. starting stance you want to be in a completely natural position like I said in power posture you want a neutral position now neutral is going to be different for everybody neutral is not perpendicular it's not sideways uh, neutral is whatever your hip anatomy is so if you just kind of land naturally now you're in a position that you have range of motion in your hips now you can shift, now you can turn. If you're trying to 
pigeon toe in, now you're kind of restricting things. That's going to create compensations for not being able to move correctly or having range of motion. Or if you're too far out, you're going to have issues the same way as being pigeon toed or duck foot. But some people are naturally going to be like this. Um, it just depends on what your anatomy is. So this is what rocking back and forth should naturally do is just kind of get you in that ready athletic position to make an athletic move. And when you go to the backswing and this foot comes up off the ground and your pelvis turns back, then you can turn and land further back Create a longer backswing. But when just starting static, your feet should be splayed out and unless you're naturally pigeon toed. And you don't want to squeeze the knees in. It should be more like you're ready to squat or move. So the other another way to stand still, this is just put this leg straight and splay your foot back. So if my target's straight out this way, right? It's almost just like walking for a speed skater. But it's going this way. So as you rock back and forth, your swing is going to be diag diagonal, just like the battery ram. Boom. from front on, the target straight out this way. You gotta play around with that rear foot placement, bounce around so that you're able to get back forward. battering ram. Boom. So this foot goes back to get out of the way of the backswing coming inside. There's that diagonal swing. Now you can loop the backswing. So instead of coming inside, you redirect back outside. And then you come back in and out. All right, so I'm gonna talk about motion pattern and then figure eight. So what you wanna do on your rear leg is kind of move your knee and hip in a little circle. Uh, this would be counterclockwise, so looking from behind the tee, it's a little counterclockwise circle, so your arms follow that out to in to out, and then on the front leg it's doing the opposite, so this is going clockwise, so the knee and the hip are making a little clockwise circle. So that should fling your arm away from you. So you've got the back swing and the forward swing. And then you got this middle power pocket. Should be trying.
tracing a figure eight. not like some crazy big move it's just a little skinny figure eight infinity sign and what's interesting when you do this when you're only moving counterclockwise on the rear foot here is that your pelvis is moving in two directions while your your pressure your knees moving in one direction. So you're getting counter rotation and then forward rotation. The front leg is the opposite. Everything's moving clockwise. Counterclockwise, clockwise. So I'm not trying to move this hip out this way. This hip is coming back behind, getting deeper. Getting the butt wipe. Counterclockwise, clockwise. So I'm actually trying to move this foot opposite of the direction of the throw. Because to actually create rotation clockwise, the pelvis has to move away from the femur and the foot. So the foot is pushing that direction, which pushes the hip that direction. Doing this, you're not really creating rotation. You're just spinning everything out. And usually going over the top. So the transition is not like a, a back and forth, it's all one motion. It's just happens to change direction. So the speed really comes from this foot pushing into the ground, which extends and pulls this arm taut like a ball on string. So the target's out here. I'm pushing my foot into the ground this way and the ground's pushing me this way with my arms going this way. Boom. 